Welcome back aliens, my name is David Reddy and let's continue with this series on Django. Now till this point we were able to get this list here from Mumbai, Hyderabad and Bangalore and then we were making the price and the stuff on the description as dynamic. And then we were trying to solve the issue of images as well which we will be continuing with that. But there is one issue which we want to solve in this particular video. So before hitting database and fetching values from database, I want to talk about one important thing. You can see in the images, we got three listings and then every listing has special offer. We don't want to do that. So out of all the listings we have, we don't want to provide a special offer to every listing, right? Or to every place we have. So maybe I want to give special offer only to Hyderabad because you can see the price is less. Uh, so maybe it's a special offer. How do we do that? How do we specify a particular special offer, particular, particular element? Because if you see in the code, uh, what we are doing is we have these three objects and then we are simply adding them. And even in the index.html, what we have done, we are using a loop, right? So if you can see, we are simply using a loop here. And then it, so it goes from the first destination, to the last destination, depending upon how much objects you are passing. So here we are passing three. And then everywhere we are saying special offer. Because if you remove that, you will not get special offer anywhere. So if I remove this part, if I say save, uh, let's go back to our display um, in the page and refresh. You can see we are getting the same stuff but without special offer. So should we keep it or not? Because if you skip that line, it will give you special offer on every one. And that's where we have to specify the condition. In fact, even before specifying the condition, we need to do one more thing. So let's get back to our views.py and let's add one more field here. And we'll set that field, okay, not here. First of all, we have to change the models. So let's go to models.py and this is where you will say offer. If you want to specify true and false, you can use a bool data type, which is for boolean. Now here you can have a true or a false. So let's say for a specific destination, if you're saying this is true, that means you have a special offer. That means if I go back to views.py here for the first destination, if I say offer, we don't have offer there. So we can say false. Uh, for the second destination, we have let's say dash two dot offer here we need to provide the offer so we'll say true we don't want it for desk three okay yeah so we'll say desk three dot uh, offer and here i will say again false so only for the second destination which is hyderabad i want to specify that there's an offer so if i go back to index.html even if you do all the changes in your models.py views.py and if you still refresh uh, you can see we are getting offers everywhere and that's where you have to specify the condition. But how? So when you say condition, one thing you know, pops up, which is if else. And that's why we will be using that. So how do we use if else here? It's quite simple. So just before the line, you can say, uh, because you want to execute that only when it is true, right? But what is true? So we will say if the destination dot offer, if this is true, then only I want to uh, print this. So when you have true and false, you don't even have to check with true, right? Because that's, it, it will give you true, so it will execute that. In fact, if you really want to do that manually, so you can also say uh, test offer equal to true, then execute that part. But when you really have this scenario, you don't have to mention that. Simply say offer. And then you have to also end this block. And we can do that with the help of a block and we'll say end if. And your job is done. Let's go back. I hope this will work. Let's refresh. Okay, so can you see that we got special offer only on Hyderabad. Uh, so if I go back to my code and if I let's say in the views, I also want to give the uh, special offer to Bangalore. I will say true for Bangalore as well. And let's refresh. And this is how you can make stuff dynamic. Now imagine this thing coming from database. So you don't even have to change anything in the code. Just go to database. There will be a field offer. So from true, just make it false with the SQL query or maybe with the help of admin panel. And we will be doing those things in the further videos. We'll be working with database. So basic understanding is you can use if else in the views as well. Okay, not views.py, but index.html. And that's what makes Django so powerful. Uh, we have also used for loop, right? So yes, it is powerful. Now what next? Now what are things coming up? Now, we have done all the things which we wanted to do. We wanted to have data dynamic. We wanted to have special offer only on the one particular uh, place. But now, I really want this data to be coming from database. So let's imagine we have a database. 
uh, maybe Oracle or Postgres. In fact, we have we will be using Postgres here. So in the Postgres, I want to create a table. I want to create a database. What we want to do is we want to connect or we want to migrate all this thing. So this migration is like creating tables in database with the help of your models. And that's where we have this amazing concept, which is ORM, Object Relational Mapper. So we want to map the objects and the tables. So tables, you can call them as relations. So what is ORM that we'll discuss in the next video.